Auckland's Hauraki Gulf, a stunning playground for all to treasure and enjoy. But it's what's underwater that attracts the eyes of these marine scientists and students, based at the University of Auckland's Lee Marine Laboratory. Established more than 50 years ago, the lab looks out over one of the world's first ever marine reserves, Cape Rodney to Okakari Point, or Goat Island. It's here that students and scientists are able to research in an undisturbed environment, a place in which both the natural world and a scientist's work are protected from human interference. Hi, I'm Dr Jenny Stanley. My research based up at Lee is on the spiny rock lobsters. I want to establish if changes in reef habitats from kelp forest to urchin barren affects the larval settlement, survival and subsequent size of spiny lobster populations. Did you know the number of lobsters here at the Lee Marine Reserve has increased 11 times? The average weight of lobster has almost doubled in the last 28 years and that baby lobster are enticed to settle by the underwater sound created by kelp forests. Hi, I'm Davide Zazzaro, I'm Italiano and I love a good kiwi mussel. What I don't like is these little barnacles, which attach themselves to the green shell mussel, making them harder to process and reducing their commercial value. I'm trying to find out why they attach themselves to the mussels and how we can stop the spread. So we can improve the returns from the important mussel farming activity that takes place in the Hauraki Gulf with the product exported around the world. Including to my home country, Italia. And I'm Dr. Agnes Lupo and my research looks into the movements of snapper, one of New Zealand's most iconic fish species. Are there young leaving the marine reserve, helping to repopulate other parts of the Hauraki Gulf? How far do they travel and where do they settle? Can marine protected areas enhance surrounding fisheries? What positive actions can we take to help restore snapper numbers in the Haraki Gulf? We've got many people to thank for the generous donations that we've had over recent years to support the research of our young scientists, the work that they've just described to you. The support has also opened up our research to schools and to the public through our new discovery centre based at Lee and the support has allowed us to bring new leadership into the program, such as Andrew Jeffs. We're extremely proud of what our current and previous students have achieved. We have scientists from this program based all around the world. They're involved in groundbreaking research, making a real contribution, whether through conservation, managing the environment, or through developing the sustainable production from our seas. It's such a unique environment here at Lee. With only a short boat trip away from my study sites, I'm able to catch lobsters and bring them back to the lab for testing. I can't think of a better place to do my research. Next door to the lab, the university has created a brand new discovery centre. For the first time, opening up the laboratory's work and expertise to the many thousands of people who visit Goat Island each year. The centre's not trying to be an underwater world. We want to point people to the real marine reserve on our doorstep. This is more than a community asset. This is somewhere where members of the community can go. But what is more important is the future of New Zealand, what this can do for our country, and the development of the extensive marine assets that we have. Hi, I'm Jessica Feikert and I'm a master's student here at Lee. And as well as my own research into controlling the New Zealand pea crab, which is a parasite in farm mussels, we're also trying to create an online resource for school teachers so they can feel confident teaching students about the marine environment. Auckland University is committed to marine science as we expect it to become an increasing focus for New Zealanders in the years to come. The project is at a stage now that it needs another $4 million to be pumped into it and any donation, large or small, to assist that goal I think would be very, very worthy as money well spent. We really need that $4 million to complete the $11 million target we've set ourselves to accelerate the science behind the oceans as a source of wealth and a stunning playground for all to treasure and enjoy. Your support can make a real difference. So come and see us. See what we are doing. See what's happening above and below the water. To learn about our precious marine environment and find out how we can preserve it for future generations. So there's always plenty more fish in the sea. But if you can't come and visit us, you can help us by donating to support our work. <laughs>